trap the arm. Start trapping the arm. Careful. Nice, nice. Turn, turn your back to the ground, Lily. Turn, 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 turn. Back to guard. Don't let that leg get away. Control that leg. Right foot steps over the calf. Right foot step over the calf. Lily, right foot steps over her calf. The other calf. That one. Move your hip out to your left. Yes, 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 yes. Good job. Good girl. Yes. Now you can feel this. See what I'm saying? Go, 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 go. Yes. And then bring it. Yes. Stop. Bring your hand closer to his shoulder. Yes. Now he's going to go over your hand. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. It's tough. I know it's hard. It's supposed to be an odd angle. Yeah. Like this. And the other hand is here. This hand's a staying put. As he goes over, you catch and you got it. Who needs help? Let's work on side rules. All right, so I have the elbow here. My other hand is gonna grab his wrist. So I have the bottom side wrist and then the top side arm. So I have control of each one of his arms. Now I'm going to open and roll. As I roll him, now my hand can swim to the inside. I'm gonna block his hooks. And really what I'm waiting for is for him to start to climb because, hold on a second. So from here, what's he gonna wanna do? I can even stay here and here. Hold and hold. As he tries to hook, look, I'm just gonna block. So because of this scenario, he might wanna come up to both knees as he does that. Boom, elbows out, wrap and cover. Now we're back behind him. Now just to control, cross him, okay? So from here, he's gonna work his onside roll. So this hand grabs here, that hand grabs there. You're gonna bring your knees on the roll. The way you roll them is you just don't roll them, right? You're gonna kind of come forward and across with your outside leg. So I have the elbow and the wrist here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go forward. Boom. Over here. Now, once I've rolled in, this top hand's gonna slide to the wrist. My elbow and knee connect, and now we're waiting for, for this hook. He can try, but it's gonna be difficult. Even if he hooks it, hook. I can still start to work my hip away and clear if I need to. Squeeze, 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 down, squeeze. So the best case scenario he's gonna have is he's gonna wanna squeeze it. He's gonna wanna come up and do this modified hook drop. Guy comes up, sits me up. Look, no, no, stand up. So you, you come up to your knees. Boom, sit me up. Yes, stop, stand up. Circle this way, put the hook in, sit and fall. Perfect. That's what he's gonna wanna do because that's his best option. So the onside roll, what I'm essentially doing is I'm using my inside hand to grab a hold of this wrist. This hand, yes, I'm always controlling this hand, but I'm grabbing a hold of his wrist. Now I go forward and across. Boom, now I just fall to my hip. He's gonna roll. Slide the hand to the wrist, so from the elbow and go to the wrist, and then the other hand can be blocking. Right? So once we're blocking, he does not get the hook in, he turns to his knees. As he turns to his knees, come back one step, there, there's an opportunity for space here. So once I feel this knee start to turn over, my hand goes to the elbow, move on. Because there's a little bit of space there. He could try to squeeze me, go squeeze, and come up. There's still space. See what I'm saying? There's still a little bit of space. So as he starts to come up, watch my body. Am I trying to move his elbow out of the way? Come back. Or am I trying to move myself, go? I move me. Now, as he starts to turn, I also start to turn. And I wrap his neck. Boom. So now we're in the front headlock. And I'm here behind him. So now he's behind, I'm behind him. He's going to grab my elbow with one hand and my wrist with the other. He's going to bring this knee in front this way and fall to his hip. He's going to roll me. Boom. I try to hook the leg. He doesn't let me hook the leg. So I have to come. Look, I turn. I'm going to bump and go down. Move your butt that way over there. So when I go to bump, there it is. Now turn your knees and wrap my head. Boom, control the front headlock and then circle behind. Now it's just turn again. My turn again. So it's a little pattern. It's a little pattern. Come up. 
Tom, boom, turn your knees, immediately wrap your neck. If you can wrap his neck and get a good bite on his neck, drop on it and tag his neck. So one more time. It's the exact same pattern. Hold the arm, hold the wrist. I go forward into the side, boom. So my knee is not going forward, it's kind of, go my knees are kind of coming together. Boom, over it goes. From here, I'm here, here, boom. Brace, when I feel him start to come up, I'm out. Wrap the neck, control. You might not be able to get around immediately. If you can wrap his neck and fall, fall to your back, boom, you're cool. If you get your arm in, if you can, if you can wear, uh, and condom, if you can die, if you can work all your front headlock series, great. If not, go in forward, circle to his back. Over under. Now it's his turn. So he's going to control and back and forth. Question. Go. Wednesday, Thursday. So you guys feeling more comfortable in that position? You guys getting hooked? Not too many arm traps. I didn't see too many arm traps. The, this complicates everything, right? It makes everything miserable. Listen, I already know. I mean, a lot of the things that I do to get from the opposite position is to beat what I'm doing. So you got to remember, if you can do the things from top or bottom against the guys in here, when somebody else that you roll with from another school that doesn't understand what we're doing, you're going to start like, oh my God, why is he letting me trap his arm so easy? Why is he letting me get underneath his neck so easy? So if you can do it to these guys, you gotta stay tighter, you gotta be more precise, you gotta do things better. So when you run across the average Joe Blow, you should be able to hit it on them fairly easily. Thank you guys for coming out. Have a good day.